Hi, I'm Taylor Gray, and I'm here to talk about my album, Twilight Hour. Twilight Hour is a collection of stories from the past decade of my life, earliest being when I was 14, um, my freshman year of high school, and the latest story being from a year ago. And where I got the idea for naming the album Twilight Hour from was basically I was writing this as a 23 and 24 year old woman approaching her mid 20s. And as a woman approaching her mid 20s, trying to, you know, get into the music industry, you're constantly told, like, your time, your time is up. Like, if you haven't quote unquote made it by then, you shouldn't even try. And I think women in any industry, not just entertainment, but entertainment especially, know what value uh, youth is and the currency that that has and how ridiculous it is. And that, you know, while all people can face that, women especially really get the brunt of that hard, hard confines of what your quote-unquote golden age is. And I thought and still think that that is ridiculous. And so I wanted to kind of turn that back on itself and say, okay, this, this is my twilight hour then. If, if my ability of having a career in music is ending, is on a twilight hour, it's not quite the end of the day, but it's approaching there at like 24, 25, I'm going to use it. And uh, the other side of that is that time of night I personally find very, very beautiful. And the whole record is really reflective and it's looking back on 10 years of my life and the, that time of night always feels reflective to me in the way this album does. So when I was writing this album, I didn't really know what I was writing it for or what it was going to be about. It just kind of came about in a natural way, which I think is the best way for these things to happen. So I was getting ready for a Zoom session with my producer, Mark Siegel, who was my co-collaborator throughout this entire project. And I, it was one of our early ones and you know, you don't, you wanna impress your collaborators and you're like, I don't wanna show up empty handed or at least I always am. And so uh, because it was during the height of the pandemic and there was nothing going on, no day-to-day -day inspiration, I started like sifting through my voice memos for inspiration and I, I'm not so prolific with like writing everything down, but I will record everything. I have hours and hours and hours of recordings on my phone. And so I scrolled all the way to the bottom and I found this recording from high school. And it reminded me of the time where like I lost um, a friendship, my best friend of eight years. And the song was terrible, but there was like a metaphor in it. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could take that and write something with it. And I wrote a tiny little chorus um, brought it to the session thinking nothing of it and Mark was like, oh yeah, let's, let's work on this. I like this. And I was like, okay, let's do it. And so that became my song that's now on the record called Eight Whole Years, which uh, unintentionally was the catalyst for, you know, me bringing other things to the table and other stories or things or feelings that I thought I would either like buried or didn't need to write a song about anymore, maybe felt too emotional to write a song about at the time and uh, like didn't have the right words, now I have the right words for it, or like wasn't able to emotionally process, now I, I, I have emotionally processed it and was able to write all of these songs that I had always wanted to write essentially. So it was a very exciting and cool process for me. I think there's this misunderstanding or misconception or at least just a common understanding in, among artists that like artists create their best art while they're in the most pain. And I don't think that's untrue, but for me, I found that my greatest art didn't come from when I was in the most pain, it came from pain after I had had time and space uh, away from it and healing. Like healing those wounds was the most important thing for me to create those meaningful works of art. For example, my song, Who Am I? I wrote about um, recovering from a very serious eating disorder. And I had tried and, and have written songs about this before, and they just 
didn't hit the way this one does because I was actively, either actively in my eating disorder or actively in recovery. And now, with time away, now I'm able to reflect. And I, and I love that. I love that message that I get to send to my younger self or my future self too of like, you don't need to be feeling the most pain to create good work or be creative or be productive. In fact, things only get better when you heal and when you take time for yourself. So in that sense, while I've been writing songs for years, this album really feels like my debut in so many ways. Uh, Not that I wasn't real or raw before, but I just, I gave myself the time to grow, not only as a songwriter, but as a person. Thank you.